of Ready. Welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time. I think Avs fans are really going to enjoy getting to know you a little bit better off the ice. Um, I like to start these with learning your nickname and how you got the nickname. And I don't know if Freddy counts as your nickname. Yeah, no, Freddy. Freddy <laughs> definitely counts. I had a, had a joke of a nickname when I was in Sweden. It was Big Fred, but I don't know. I don't know if that'll catch on here. What do the guys in the locker room call you? Just Freddy. Just Freddy. Freddy. Okay, we'll stick to Freddy then. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your journey to getting to the NHL. Yeah, no, it's been uh, been all over. I went to school out in Omaha, uh, played four years there, and then spent three years in Sweden. Got to play at the Olympics with them. And then, uh, yeah, I got a chance to come over, play with Dallas, and then an opportunity came came to come here. And that's uh, that's the end goal, getting back to, you know, to what they did a couple of years ago. And, I mean, you feel it in the locker room and the guys, everyone's working towards that goal. So uh, I'm going to do everything I can to, to help that go in that direction. And you have family here, right? So tell yes. me a little bit more about that and that Colorado connection. Yep, my parents and younger brother, uh, well, we grew up in, uh, in Broomfield here. My, uh, my family, all of us moved from Sweden um, over how, here. How old were you? So I was turning 13, so right before okay. high school. So it's very fortunate to have family nearby. I feel yeah. like you never to have them as close by. So they've been to a lot of games already and uh, they'll probably be at a few more. Tell me a little bit more about yourself off the ice. A lot of time with the uh, family is, is very important to me. Um, being outdoors, but I, I love that stuff. I mean, working out is kind of part of the job, but honestly, kind of the whole fitness lifestyle I enjoy too. Cooking, lots of cooking. I, okay. I'm not afraid to pump my own tires with that. My wife isn't either. We're good cooks, we cook a lot. For the most part, just feel like I'm a normal guy that uh, gets to do something he loves for a living so he's very grateful and just um, little things with me go a long way. Any exciting final words I guess for the Avs fans about this season? I grew up growing or going to, uh, to Avs games when it was a Pepsi Center back in the day and now getting to be there on the ice kind of on the other side it's it's surreal so I'm gonna enjoy every moment and um, you know, if there's kids out there that like me you know playing hockey too, you know, there is a chance that you could be on the ice that you're watching.